Hi, I'm Lynn Brick. Welcome to this week's Fit Tip. Whether you exercise or not, this tip can help prevent cancer part two. Well, the last time we met, we talked about ways you can actually move away from your desk, get up off your seat and onto your feet. Why? Because even if you're an avid exerciser and get your 30 minutes of cardio every single day, if you spend the rest of your day sitting, it can potentially cause cancer, specifically colon cancer, endometrial cancer, and ovarian cancer. Ooh, danger, warning. So last time I gave you a couple of tips, four tips to help you to move away from your seat, get up on your feet, and to move. Today I'd like to give you four more tips. That's eight tips total, exactly what you should do. One tip every single hour for, throughout your work day. So here are four more tips. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, instead of emailing your coworkers, I want you to move away from your desk and actually get up and walk to their office or their cubicle. And here's how. I want you to walk on your heels like this. Why? Because it helps to stretch your calf muscles. Ooh, especially as girls, we like to wear heels and our calves become extremely tight. So take off your, your, your heels and walk on the heels of your feet. Guys, it's obviously a lot easier for you to just do it in your regular shoes. Okay, so that's tip number one. The second tip I want you to do is to stretch your chest. Why? Because when you're sitting at your computer desk, so often your chest muscles overpower your posture. So focus on stretching your chest muscles. Try this with me. Place your hands behind your head. Open up your elbows or spread those butterfly wings. Excellent. Or you can do this. Place your arms along your side, thumbs down. Now press back and lift your chin because your thumb bone is connected to your chin bone. Ah, feels great. Hold that for about 30 seconds. Now the third tip I'd like you to do is the flamingo stand. Very simple and easy. Just stand on one leg. Now you can stand close to your desk if balance is an issue and you need to kind of like hold on to, to grab your balance. Hold on to your balance. But I want you to hold this position. Just stand on one leg like this for 30 to 60 seconds. And of course, you want to switch to the other leg as well. Why? Because it forces internal stabilization and strengthening. Very important for ambulation and to prevent those accidental falls. Think of your tomorrow today. Okay. The fourth tip I want you to do is the desk push away. Yes, it's one of my favorite exercises and I know it's going to become one of yours too. <laughs> so you can do the push away against the wall or against the desk. So place your hands underneath your shoulders, your feet back, brace your core, shoulders engage, focus on being a tall, long plank and strong plank from your head to your feet. Now simply bend your elbows and push away. Now, this may be rather easy for you. I'm sure that it is for many of you. And you have the option, of course, to do regular push-ups on the floor. But the closer you get to the floor, the more challenging the move is. So if this is rather easy for you, give me 20 to 40 repetitions. 20 to 40 repetitions. All right, so that will help strengthen your chest, strengthen your shoulders, strengthen your arms, strengthen your back. So there you have it. Walk on your heels, stretch your chest, ah, do the flamingo, stand on one leg, or do the desk push aways to help you to get up off your seat, get up on your feet, and move every single hour. So in closing, here's today's thought from Ella Fitzgerald. It isn't where you come from, it's where you're going that counts. So if you like this tip, please feel free to pass it on to a friend, family member, or coworker. And if you want to see the text version or any of my past tips, please visit lynnbricks.com. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Please feel free to make a comment on my blog, Blogging with Lynn. That's L-Y-N-N-E.com. And I want to wish you and your family a very healthy, happy holiday season. And hopefully you didn't eat too much yesterday for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Until we meet again, you go girl.